Welcome to Organize Your DNA Matches in a Diagram. I'm Nicole Dyer. This session is sponsored by Family Locket. Learn more at familylocket.com slash rootstack. Organizing your DNA matches visually helps you figure out how you descend from a common ancestor and figure out the relationship. It also helps you confirm generations in your tree leading back to a brick wall. You can gather evidence into one place and evaluate it all in your diagram. It also helps you prepare to use the diagram in a future report or proof argument. The details you will need to include in your diagram are the name of the DNA match and the tester, the amount of shared centimorgans between them, and the relationship in shorthand. For example, half third cousins once removed is H3C1R. Then as you're mapping the ancestors back, be sure to include the birth and death dates for them. Then when you're including private parents of the testers, be sure to put in their gender, whether it's mother or father, so you can trace relevant mitochondrial, Y-DNA, and X-DNA lines. There are many tools you can use for diagramming your matches. I use lucidchart.com, but it's not free. Diagrams.net does very similar things, and it is free. PowerPoint and Word Smart Art Hierarchy is great for those who are familiar with that and already have it. And Scapel is a, a popular one by Literature and Latte that you download to your computer. Another option is pencil and paper. So don't be scared, you can do this, whether it's on pencil and paper, Word, or in Lucidchart. Diagrams.net is web-based software, so you use it in your browser. It's open source, completely free, and similar to Lucidchart, it has shapes, connectors, and labels. You can find tutorials for how to use it at diagrams.net slash blog. Now go to diagrams.net if you want to follow along as I show you how to use it. All right, go to diagrams.net and click start now. Then a pop-up box will ask you where you want to save it and you'll choose a location in your Google Drive account. Then give your diagram a name. I named mine Schultz Diagram because I'm mapping on my Schultz side. I already added myself, my mother, and my grandfather. You can see that the line here has an arrow at the endpoint. To change that, select the line and then go over here to the endpoint style, line end, and select none. Now you can add another ancestor by clicking and dragging this box or just clicking on it. Drag the box up to where you want it to be and then type the name by double clicking. Eddie Bell Harris is the mother of Bobby Jean Schultz. Then hover over the box that you want to add a connecting line for and then hover over the node where you want the line to come from. I want it to come from this node and then I can draw it up and connect it to one of the nodes on this diagram box. Now I want to add another person. Click on Bobby Jean. Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and that's another easy way to add a box. Double click and type in his brother's name, and hover to add a connecting line. Move him up a little bit to get the lines to match up. Now I'm going to add a cousin to my mom who's CH's child. Type the name, we'll say maybe in the DNA match page it was private, so I'll put private and then put the gender so it's male, or you can just type father and then you can put the DNA match's name next. So this is just a pretend example, so I'll use Mary. She shares 304 centimorgans, and so now I'm going to put the relationship, and the diagram helps me figure that out. So Mary is the same generation as me, so she's not going to be any generations removed. She is a child of my mom's first cousin and my grandpa my grandfather's brother. So you can look at your maps and say, this these two are brothers, these two are first cousins, and these two are th second cousins. So now I can double click and hit enter and then put in second cousins. So that's how you make a diagram of your DNA matches. To learn more about using DNA evidence in your research, Join our new Research Like a Pro with DNA online course. Roots Tech attendees can receive a discount on the online course. Learn more about our free podcast, cheat sheets, and other materials at familylocket.com slash rootstech.